Hello, everybody. How are you doing tonight? Oh my gosh, I uh, it is hot here, and my hives are back, and my hives respond to heat. So I am currently sitting on an ice pack <laughs> to calm, calm me down, calm my skin down, all that good stuff. So uh, everybody, say who's in the house tonight. Um, I do not have enough brain to brain. Um, so I didn't want to do um, the Bible study tonight. It would be too much for me. So um, I have lurkers. Where's everybody else? I gotta call them on the phone. Call people out. Say, hey, where are you? It's a nice day though. I mean, like people don't want to come on to a stream at this time of night. I'm thinking of moving it to later. Hey, Shaman, how you doing? Oh, it's good to see you. Lawrence! Yay, Lawrence! <laughs> good to see you guys. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna text the gang. Um where are we? Text again. Here we go. Uh, live fellowship chat tonight. So, what do you what do you guys think about moving it back um, to around sunset? Because as as far as I like the natural flow of things, people usually want to be outside this time of evening um because it's still sunny out it's still nice out doing things i mean it's summertime people people aren't crammed around screens during summertime unless you know outside isn't an option that's me right now um because of this damn car I caught, which i have no idea how I, uh i uh, missed the injection session for my hives so that's a bummer but hopefully I'll be well enough to go to my PT physical therapy intake um, this Monday. So, but man, I am I am loopy on antihistamines and I am loopy from the cold, and so I can't brain right now. The brain it, it dribbled out of my ear and it, it just disappeared into the floor. So, yeah, that's where I am right now. Um, and, uh, so yeah, I just wanted to sit down and have a friendly ch chat with everybody. And first of all, just to announce to the internet and anybody who may be watching this later, um, I wanted to thank everybody for helping out. So, hey, hey, there's survival. <laughs> hey, loopy Pam. Yes, I am very loopy Pam tonight. So, and it's just, it, it's weird because I look fine. My face is a little flushed, and, but otherwise I look fine. But, oh my gosh, I feel horrible. I feel horrible. So, um, but yeah. So I wanted to thank everybody for helping Jason in his time of need. Uh, he was crying. His mother was crying. Um, their cats now have food. So <laughs> everything is is a lot better in their house and um, we helped them pull through. So thank you so much to the Pam fam who you got wonderful. Um, and uh, yeah, I just, I thank y'all for all the support. Um, I'm glad that, you know, we really, we really stick up for each other, it's up for each other, out for each other. See, no brain, I have no brain, I have no brain. But uh, yeah, I mean, you guys are, awesome group of people and I'm so proud to call you my friends so you know that's where it's at um, oh gosh so yeah oh and I would really rather be you know just binge watching on the couch um, but I didn't want to go a second night. Uh, without saying hi to you guys, I did, I did do Thursday because I wasn't doing well, and I'm, I'm feeling a, a little bit better now. Um, survival asks, how much did he get? Uh, I think he got, let's see, I gave him 50, a whole bunch of other people gave him like 15, so he may have gotten almost 100 bucks, which is awesome, you know, so he was able to get food for 
everybody, gas in the car, things like that. So, um, yeah. So, yeah, Jason is doing much better, much better. And uh, he just, he thanks everyone. I was getting texts from about his mom crying for joy and things like that. And it's just, it's, you know, it's a wonderful thing. It's a wonderful thing to know that there are, are people out there who, you know, you both met on the internet and yet they love you enough, you know, to uh, to help you out. Survival says, uh, nice, I only did 10. Yeah, no, every little bit counts. Every little bit counts. So, you know, it, it was a good thing. It was a good thing. I was, I was lucky in that I had enough to give him a large amount because when you guys helped me, you know, I was getting good amounts from people and it saved my butt. So, um, yeah, we saved his butt this time. And so I feel really good about that. I feel really good about that. Y'all are an awesome crew. So, um, and then I emailed Dave Cramp. We haven't heard from him in a while. And I wanted to see how he was doing. Um, let's see. I don't think I got an email back from him yet. Nope, no email back from him. And, of course, we know his internet is spotty. So yeah, Survival says that's so awesome. It is awesome. It is. It is. And, and it was thanks to every one of you, you know, everybody who's watching now on the live and everybody who who um, is going to catch this on the replay. You know, it's it, y'all are marvelous people and I'm so proud to call you my friends. So yeah, yeah, it's a good time. Um, but Dave Cranick, yeah, I haven't heard from him in a while. So I sent him an email. Um, and hopefully I'll hear back from him soon, uh, cause I, I haven't seen him on any live, so I miss him. Um, and then who else, who else were we helping out? I can't remember. It's just been me. <laughs> my neighbor helped me with my lawn today and they know I'm sick. And bless her heart, Mary Lou could not remember that I was sick. I'd been over every day, like twice a day. Uh, knocking on my door to see if she can come over. And I was like, no, I can't, I can't get you sick because, you know, we, I we can't risk getting your house sick, that sort of thing. So um, it's kind of sad. I've been missing her. So, but um, I'm napping so much that, you know, I, yeah, it's just, it is what it is. So, but um wanted to, uh, Talk about fellowship, fellowship in the spirit. Yeah. Since we've got such a strong fellowship here among us, you know, um, I wanted to know <laughs> if there were uh, she, any prayer requests. She's praying for food, silly girl. Um, but yeah, if we wanted to do a prayer list or something like that, um, Survival says, yeah, let's talk about fellowship. Uh, uh, Shaman says, I didn't hear about it, but I'm so glad he did get some help. Well, I don't have your number. See, I need to get your number. That's what I do is I, I have a, a, a text list that I use to get in contact with everybody. So that's how I, I called up the troops, as it were. Um, and uh, yeah, yeah, it was it was awesome that he got help. Um you know, and it was it was awesome the way everybody pulled together for Dave when he had his brain bleed and for um I'm blanking on his name now justice for when he was flipping out and having trouble you know it's that's that's what fellowship is it's you know sticking up for your fellow man and woman so um oh Greg hasn't done a live in a long time oh, man See, I was so out of it last Sunday that I didn't even notice that he didn't do a live. So we'll have to bust him up, too, and say, hey, get back on. Because, you know, you're kind of our internet pastor, as it were. Doggies, I'm on the live. I cannot give you a treat right now. You will have to wait. So, um. Mm. Uh, Shaman says, yeah, we can pray for Sandra Martinez. She's a close friend who's really got bad pain in her leg. She's in the hospital. Oh, no. 
Oh no. Yeah. My warrior Z. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, this is how we stick up for each other. This is how we care for each other. This is how we create the fellowship fellowship is by, you know, knowing other people's needs and doing what we can for them. So if you all want to join me for a moment, uh, in, in prayer for, uh, Zandra Martinez, um, we're going to pray about her leg and we are going to, um, do some spiritual warfare to help her heal. So, uh, Heavenly Father, we are gathered here today and we thank you for the day. We thank you that we have been able to be gifted with another day in your creation, this wonderful, glorious earth, um, you know, the, the wonderful warm seasons that's coming. Spring is finally here and we just thank you for everything that you do for us. And we want to give a prayer out to Sandra Martinez and her leg. Uh, she is in the hospital right now, and we just want to send our healing energy to her, Lord God. Uh, we want to send all your angels um, and the, the healing touch of your son, Lord Jesus Christ. Um, it is said that by his stripes we are healed. So I want this to be a supernatural healing on her leg. I want the doctors to be amazed at her progress. I want her to be amazed with her progress. I want the pain to be lessened. I want the wounds to be healed, Lord God. And we ask this. You, you send your armies of angels to her, Lord. Send your armies of angels and, and heal that leg. Um, we are just so in awe of everything that you do for us. And we know that you can do and will do supernatural healings. So by the authority that you have granted us, I call for healing upon Sandra Martinez's leg. And I just ask that, that you give her peace in her heart and make sure that she doesn't worry about what's going on and make, make her stay in the hospital as comfortable as possible. You know, send the word of your Holy Spirit to her doctors and her nurses and, and give her friendly and loving people to take care of her. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, well, that was awesome. Um, I hope, <laughs> uh, yeah, sometimes God doesn't always answer prayers. Um, and Pete Gregg has an awesome book about this, um, called God on mute, you know, when, when terrible things happen and things like that. And sometimes, um, you know, you just have to struggle through the hard times. Um, Lawrence says, thank you, Pam. No problem. No problem. And, uh, or survival says, and Lawrence says amen, and Shaman says amen. You know what I meant. <laughs> so, um, yeah, Pete Gregg has this awesome book called God on Mute about, you know, bad things happening to good people, that sort of thing. Um, but sometimes, you know, troubles like that are to force us to grow in ways that we wouldn't be able to otherwise. Um, you know, because one of the things that, I've always said is the most insufferable people are people who have never suffered. Uh, you know, if, if you, if you're somebody who always has things go their way, who's always lucky and, you know, always has money, things like that, they're annoying because, you know, it's real easy for them and they don't understand how hard it can be for other people. But people who have had hard times, people who have, um, you know, had to live through, you know, real, real tragedy, they understand, they can empathize, they can be there with you, uh, you know, with what you're going through. And you really feel a connection there that that isn't just sweet words or anything like that. It is from their heart that that they're truly saying, you know, I wish you well, I wish you all the best. I, I wish for you to come through this, uh, you know, this terrible time um, and for your heart to be still, that sort of thing. So, yeah, and I think, I think we have really have that fellowship here. You know, everyone that I know in this group, everyone that I've, I've met online since doing these YouTubes, every one of you has a depth to you that can only be gained through tragedy. Um, you know, it's a, it's, it's a horrible thing to, to think that, that tragedy has some purpose. Um, so survival says, 
I'm sitting good now, but I know struggle all too well. Exactly. Exactly. Um, and, and that gives you an ability to empathize in a way that you wouldn't be able to empathize otherwise. You know, um, people who are always lucky and things like that, they're like, oh, you know, just, just try this. It'll work. And it's like, no, you don't understand. It's really hard for me. Um, so, you know, we understand that, that life is hard. Everyone in this chat, everyone who I've met through YouTube understands when life gets hard and knows how to, you know, that's, that's why people had such an outpouring for Jason is that we understood being in a hard time like that, you know, having only the change in your pocket and needing to buy food or pay the rent or put gas in your car or something like that. So we are all too willing to help because we know how awful that feels. And so that is just a beautiful, wonderful thing. You know, um, I didn't really have friends until uh, high school. Uh, the people at my school were really, really mean and I didn't get along with any of them. Um, and finally, uh, you know, I got some friends by joining an after school chorus. And then I had friends in college and, and that was cool. But I mean, I remember how lonely it was. And so having friends in a fellowship like this, it's just a beautiful thing. And I, I absolutely love it. So Ryzen Ability is here and sends his love. Yay! Hey, Ryzen, how's it going? So, yeah. So, you know, it, I'm, I'm so proud of everybody here. You know, you are people that I admire. You are, you are people who have good hearts. Um, Lemon Pepper Wings is here. Yay! Say a prayer for your stomach. You ate a burrito today. Oh my gosh, Lord God, we ask your blessing upon Lemon Pepper Wings stomach for that burrito. I know the horribleness that is gut pain and it can just, it can get you down to your core, down to your soul. You feel it all the way in your spine. So we pray for Lemon Pepper Wings stomach for that burrito. <laughs> So, in Jesus' name, amen. Um, oh, wrong one. Uh, Shaman says, I've seen and been through many things, challenges. It gives us perspective. Absolutely. Absolutely it does. Um, and, it, and it gives you a love for, for strangers, you know, just because of what they're going through. Um yeah, we are the people that, that donate. We are the people that give our time. We volunteer. We do things like that. We do things for free uh, just so we can help other people because we know what it's like being in that awful situation and, and not having anybody, not having any help and, and the struggle to get through and what a joy it is. What a joy it is when somebody reaches out and says, here, I see you struggling. I'm going to help. You know, there you go. I mean, it's just, it's so awesome. It's so awesome. So I have to move my, oh, put this ice pack up to my back. Because this chair, which is nice and comfy in the winter, is too hot in the summer. Oh, my gosh. To know compassion. That's what it is. Yeah. Yeah, that, exactly. I mean, um, what I like to say is that, you know, you can't create steel without putting iron in the fire. Um, so it's, it's, you know, we are the souls who are forged in flames. Um, and it makes us stronger to have gone through that kind of stuff. It makes us more compassionate. It makes us more giving. It makes us more loving. So... I <laughs> know this is not, this is not weed. I cannot be on weed in my pain pills. This is tobacco. Here's my tobacco. Um, I just don't like the little plastic thing that comes with it. So I take that off and I just have my little corn cob pipe, but this is definitely just tobacco. So, uh, I'm allergic to weed actually. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's one of the things I will break out in hives. You know, not that I'm not breaking out in hives now, but yeah, 
THC, CBDs, CBNs, all of that stuff gives me hives. So I can't use it. Uh, I haven't used it in like a couple of years now, I think. So, um, but yeah. Oh, man. I don't know how long I'm going to be able to do this tonight. I'm feeling really crap. So I might only go for an hour tonight, but um, do any of you all have anything you'd like to say about fellowship or, um, you know, what, what this group has done for you? Um, you know, like, like Greg's sermons. I mean, he is my pastor for all intents and purposes. Um, you know, I've, I don't like my church so much anymore because they do this kind of prosperity gospel stuff, which really drives me up a wall. And it's like, you know, it's the, it's that formula, that Christian formula where you, if you do good things, if you obey the word of God, you will be rewarded by God and have your best life. And it's like, uh, no, no, I do not brook with that at all, you know, because that means if bad things happen to you, if you have a hard time, you know, with life, that means that you're doing something wrong. You're not being good enough. You're not being obedient enough towards God. And that's just a, a bunch of, you know, nuts. Yeah, it's just, ugh. so yeah, I don't believe in that. I believe we can be taken, I mean, the whole book of Job, you know, that guy was taken through horrors, horrors. And yet he was the most faithful to God. Was he living his best life when he was being tormented? No, absolutely not. He was not living his best life, but he kept the faith, you know? So I, I don't like the prosperity gospel at all, at all. So Lawrence says fellowship is family. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, um, it's an adoptive family. Uh, yeah, it's, it's people... Um, yeah, this transcends us into faith. Exactly. You know, it's one of those things, um, that hard times can be a good thing in the long run, in the short run, hang on, you know, survival says this group has been a great way for me to connect with wholesome people. I try to meet everyone. The group has proven to be loyal. Yes, yes, loyal, faithful, that sort of thing. Um, and I would love, I would love to create a gathering sometime when we could all get together in person and meet one another. I think that would be fantastic. So, um, but yeah, the, the loyalty, the love that you all have shown each other, that you all have shown me, I mean, it's just, it's absolutely astounding. You know, I don't, have many friends, in-person friends, and you guys are my friends. Um, you just happen to be through a screen. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, and it's just, it's wonderful to meet such like-minded people. You know, it restores my faith in humanity that there are people like you guys out there, people like you who who care about the world, who who don't want to fight, you know, these these polar opposite differences in politics and stuff like that. We want to come together. Uh, you know, like the warm welcome that Pizza Dad Bob was given. I mean, that was, that was fantastic. You know, we didn't, we didn't beat him up. You know, he didn't have a temper tantrum. It was, it was golden. So <laughs> survival says we are the fellowship of the Pam fam. Absolutely. Absolutely. So I love it. I love it. Um, yeah, you know, and I, I can always rely on you to lift me up. Um, I know you guys are sad when I'm not able to show up, but I also know that you love me enough that you'll show up the next time, uh, the next time I come on live, um, that you guys are, are faithful to that. So, And I, I appreciate that because I've lost so many friends being sick and disabled and all of that, um, where you say, you know, no, I can't go out tonight. I'm sorry. That's thing. Um, and uh, eventually they stop inviting you because you say no too many times and they, they don't want to hear, you know, another no. Um, 
And uh, I know you guys will stick around for when I can say it again. Uh, and that is a beautiful thing. So, oh man. But um, yeah, I'm loopy. I'm loopy. I know I don't show it, but I mean, the world is kind of doing a swirly thing. <laughs> know why <laughs> that's what it's doing i you would think that i was on the wacky tobacco as rising calls it but i'm not i'm just i'm just sick and on too many antihistamines so um yeah oh, i'm tired i don't know how long i can do this <sighs> Yeah, it's amazing how much these lives actually um, take out of a person. You know, you would think it's easy just sitting here and talking. But when you're the only one carrying the conversation, um, it, it, it gets hard. Um, we got to bug Greg to uh, get him to do more sermons again because I love, I mean, he comes from a hard place. You know, he's been through the ringer. Certainly. Um, so, um, yeah, I, I might shut it down. Um, I'll give it another three minutes. Um, and thank you for letting me know it's okay. Uh, yeah, but I, did, I didn't want to, you know, have a whole week go by without me saying hi to you all. And especially not after all the outpouring and love for Jason. I mean, that was just that blew me away and I was so happy. I was so happy to see he was telling me all the donations he was getting and everything like that. And, and he was just absolutely amazed and in tears. And so I, I did want to come up um, and thank you all for doing that. I mean, it was just, it was marvelous. It was marvelous. Um, so yeah, I think I'll shut it down in a few. We'll go for a half hour tonight. Um, but yeah, I mean, who would have thunk, you know, back in November that we would have this kind of fellowship that we would have? I mean, it's only been a few months. I haven't known you guys for a year yet. And yet, you know, the strength and the, the, the love that's shown in this group is amazing. It's amazing. I love it. You know, you guys, I, I can't. Oh, my heart is overjoyed. It is just filled with, you know, happiness, happiness that I haven't felt in a long time. So I thank you for that. Shaman says I needed to have, and we all need more positive, good people in life. And I'm honored and blessed to have found such great people. Exactly. Exactly. So Shell, hey, Shell's joined the group. You're just in time. We're going to quit in a few minutes because I am sick and I am going to, to fall out. <laughs> so, um, but welcome, Shell. Um, yeah, uh, it, we're, we're just talking about how great of a group this is and how, uh, how much everybody is loved um, and how much we care for one another and are there for one another. Um, so, and... And then, of course, everybody tell me if you have a birthday coming up so I can do a birthday stream. I want to keep doing that. I want to, I want to make that a tradition. So, oh, Shell. Yeah, Shell says, I'm sorry. I hope you feel better soon. Uh, thank you. I, I am on the mend. I'm not as bad as I was, you know, earlier in the week. But I'm still not at my strength, as it were, to be able to carry on a two-hour life. <laughs> so... Um, but yeah, y'all are wonderful. Y'all are wonderful. And, um, if you have Greg's number, be sure to shoot him a text, um, because we want him back. We, we want his Bible teachings back because he is, he is so good. He's so good. And so in the word, um, you know, so it, I, I want my church back. That, that's what I want. Uh, I miss him. So, but, and the other thing is, thinking about doing this at a later time um, so that people can enjoy their evening, their summer evenings, as it were. So I might be pushing this back to like, um, it's 5.30 my time. Mm, excuse me. I may be pushing this back more towards 
six thirty or seven my time. So that would be six o'clock Pacific time, eight central time, nine Eastern time. How does that sound to everybody? Does that sound good? That way we can enjoy our summer nights and we don't have to worry about, you know, coming on a live. We can come on a live when it's, you know, time to come inside, that sort of thing. So Shaman says, yes, Pam, heart, sending blessings and prayers to you to be feeling better. Oh, bless your heart. Thank you. I will get over it. But I mean, I don't even know how I caught this. You know, I wasn't out in public or anything like that. I think I may have caught it from my dog or something like that, you know? Um, so Lawrence says, yes, that sounds good. Awesome. We've got one vote for um, at a later time. And um, yeah, I think I think that would be better for everybody. Because um, yeah, it's, it's too bright in here. <laughs> so yeah, oh, I got a couple of texts. Justice says, getting to my hotel soon. Ah, Justice is out traveling. Uh, Jason says, cool, I'll be there. Um, but he is not here yet. And we're going to close it out. So, huh. Um, but, yeah, I'll go for a few more minutes, see if we can get Jason up here. But um, otherwise, yeah, I just, I just love you all. I love you all. You are such good people. Um, and I'm, I'm so proud to call you my friends. I'm, I mean, truly it y'all, mm, you've restored my faith in humanity. Um, you make me smile. Um, it's, it's wonderful to pray with you all. Uh, yeah. Make a love shout out. That's what it is. Make a love shout out. Woo. <laughs> uh, so. But anyway, yeah, I think I'm going to shut it down. She'll sense a bunch of parts. <laughs> Y'all are beautiful. You're beautiful. You know, so I hope you love me. I hope you love you like I love you. That's how the sentence goes. Man, I'm, oh, I'm just loopy. So, but anyway, I will. Yes, free, free in a minute. So I will see you all later and we'll do a new time next week. Um, probably for both the the study and this, um, the the book club and this. Yeah, my my brain is so dead. So, um, shaman says generalized malaise is still generalized malaise. It's, it just happens sometimes. Yes, yes. <laughs> but I mean, it was a head cold because my sinuses were just ah, uh, they were all a mess. So. And Sean says, have a great night, Pam Pam. Yes. Uh, Shell says, have a great night, everyone. And um, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I appreciate all of you. So mm -hmm. love you. Bye.